Code coach today, we're talking about spray foam insulation. And I want you to see here, we have a good application of spray foam where they got in behind this California corner and got a good thickness cavity overall of the cell. Each cell, when you're looking at these spray foam walls, any kind of bad insulation, doesn't matter. You just want your cell cavity to be fully encapsulated. Now, this is a two by six wall, and our climate zone only technically requires three and a half inches of spray foam. However, overall, you can see most of these walls, they actually had to cut and scrape out. You got a little bit where they got a little bit tight on their wall here, where they might actually want to come back and actually seal that because you do actually have a cold spot here, and you'll actually have uh, thermal uh, transmission here where you get these little tiny cold spots in the walls versus this cavity. I want you to see how it's a full cavity wall and they're actually exceeding the code by going full cavity thickness on this two by six wall and having to cut this out. So some things to look for when you're doing these spray foam buildings, you still have to get back in behind the corners. You see here, getting back up in behind these corners and making sure you get a full width of the cavity and also the full depth for whatever climate zone you're at and that's overall what we're looking for so like you said overall this is a pretty good looking wall section but just some little things to be looking for when you're doing wall cavity inspections